Uh, welcome and many thanks for joining this session, even if it's very late. And maybe automotive is a pretty stuff, uh, strong change to the uh, L'Oreal presentation we just had. Um, what I want to show you is really what can an automotive after sales expect from AR. And I will first define what is automotive after sales at all. What, when a lot of people think after sales, I cannot define it. It is actually something which is an ecosystem focused around providing the best customer experience, repair a car, um, enabling business growth, etc. And how is this done? It's done by a dealer, a dealer where you buy a car, but not just cars, it would apply pretty much for any product. A dealer deals with sales, independent if it's called after sales. A sales is an important part of generating an after sales ecosystem because I'm selling, I'm upselling, I'm, I'm getting a new product to service. I have service when I sold a product. I have a diagnostic and repair when I want to, to do something with the car when it's damaged. I have training needs as a dealer. I have important customer interactions, not only during sales, during any of these activities. And I have parts. Parts is a very important part of a dealer ecosystem because this is where they make money. They're selling the parts of a vehicle. I will address all of these individual areas and show from a viewpoint of a dealer owner what AR can help him. Because we thought, why would we define what technology we can apply? We would like to define how can we help a dealer? What would he get from an augmented reality application? Vehicle sales. What is in for me when I sales a sell a vehicle? Why would I apply augmented reality? I can provide my customer with explanation of new features. So at the moment, a salesman has to go down and explain manually, verbally, what a new feature is an adaptive driver assistance, like autonomous driving. Now I can visualize this. I can support him communicating totally different with new technologies. I can provide the customer with vehicle configurations I don't have in my workshop at the moment. So I need a different color, I need a different feature set, I can apply this. Simplify the sales of um, accessories by visualizing at a customer's car. They're selling accessories like a rooftop box, like a bike rack, etc. And I can do this at the customer's car. So a, a sales process is much easier for a dealer than any ever before. Guide sales process. This means I can ensure that a salesman talked about any feature in that car. I guide him visually through a sales process, which ensures things you never had control before. So for a dealer, the sales process will benefit in these areas. And this will lead to improved sales despite new complex vehicles and limited space. I have more dealers inside of a city, suddenly I have a technology which overcomes this. The next point is vehicle service. After I sold a product, now I want to service it. How can it help the dealer? I always look from the dealer with augmented reality. I provide a customer a visual explanation of what I'm doing. So what did I found out as you brought my car? You all maybe brought a car to your dealer and said, do a service. And whatever you heard was, oh, I have to replace things here, things there. But now I can visualize this. I have a totally different way to interact with my customer. Show customers why certain things need to replace. Not just what I found, so why I can much more bring the problem I found was the consequences together when I don't fix them. I can simplify the customer communication around additional upselling. So when you bring your car to a service and they identify that you also need to change tires, you haven't thought about it, or you need to wheel alignment, it's much easier to visualize now what will happen if you don't do it. 
improve the customer transparency of repairs and service I did. So at the very end, I can visualize these things I have repaired. I show this on a customer car. So all of these individual things can be supported or only transported with augmented reality. And this leads to faster and more transparent with higher customer satisfaction a, a, a process. I can talk different to my customer. I visualize things he has never seen before and maybe never understood. The next part is the diagnostic and repair, because before it was service, I service something. Now I want to diagnose a problem and then I do a repair. I visualize component location at the vehicle. So the dealer has problems with technicians not understanding where certain components are because of highly complex vehicles. And they lose a lot of time with that. So now I visualize component at the location, at the vehicle. Display complex system functions because a service technician has to repair something. I want to visualize how this is working, how the different things belong together. How is an autonomous vehicle working? I need to explain this to a service technician that he can repair that car. Provide hands-free operation will really bring information together so a technician sees the information at that place and don't have to walk to different systems, don't have to fetch information from different uh, locations. And he, we aggregate, we're able with AR to aggregate all of the information. When maybe last year is, or in, in Europe, when you watch that uh, presentation from me, we showed a connected workshop. I aggregate all the information in the workshop and put them in my field of view. It's about the elimination of displays in any other tool inside of a repair process. I visualize. All of this together shows a significant reduction in, in repair times and diagnostic. And this is not just what we think, we measured it with our own workshops. So it's easy to save 10 to 15 percent by just eliminating the need to search for component location. Support for training because a dealer has a lot of things where his technicians need a training. So what can he get from it? He gets from it remote training at the dealership. He has not to send somebody somewhere else. He does not to lose days of travel, etc. I can remotely train somebody with this. Unifies training and service. This is a, a, a powerful way of eliminating one information type totally. And the fact that I can use an on-demand training or repair or vice versa makes it much more efficient and, and the, the information created much cheaper. Enables on-demand and self-training. So the fact that I have suddenly a technology which allows me to superimpose information at a customer's vehicle is an on-demand training, something I could never do before because all of the other content was generic content. Now it's content for that vehicle in front of me. And visual training at the product guarantees you higher knowledge retention. So it's really a totally different way of training. And he does not have to send a technician more often or less often to training than ever before. It leads to better on-site training with higher knowledge retention at lower cost. This is what a dealer really wants to hear. I get better quality and I have to pay less for it. This is maybe one of the areas where the dealer benefits the most immediately. All the others will grow over time, but this training part is a core part of, of his savings. AR support for customer, because the customer is a part in it. And you will see here a couple of things which have nothing to do with the service, but it helps the dealer. And the very first thing is, improve the understanding of a vehicle with functions of a visual owner guide. The fact that I have now users which have an owner guide which augments the operation of my car makes my life easier as a dealer because they're not coming and complaining about things which they don't understand or it's much easier for me to help them because that software already bridges something. Increase the transparency. When we had this before, I want to be much more transparent as a dealer to my customer, to gain trust. I can now really show what I repaired, why I repaired it, and, and communicate at a totally different level with the customer, and you show transparency. 
Uh, at the same time, the fact that you're using augmented reality, you improve your credentials by applying a technology which matches up with the vehicle itself. If he sees you repair his autonomous driving car with augmented reality, he gains trust because you have the right tool for this highly complex vehicle and provides tailored information for customer-specific vehicle. Suddenly, when you talk to a customer and you look at this car, this is not a generic set of information. It's the information for him, for this car at that moment, which makes him much, much more trustful in the type of information you're communicating, because it's not abstract, it's concrete. So this leads to transparent communication with customer and increase the likelihood of a new sale. It's a very soft thing, but these are all the aspects AR would bring you in your customer interaction, you as a dealer. The um, most important part, at least with revenue, is parts. How can AR help the service um, the technician or the dealer in general to increase the part sale? By simplifying the part selection. I augment the parts which I need. I, I eliminate a lot of steps which were necessary before because I visually have a parts catalog on my vehicle. I can compare the physical part with the superimposed. Is this the right part? Do I order the right part? Do I maybe have certain things overlooked because I, I used the wrong documentation? I help him select or guarantee it's the right part at this. I provide direct access because now with all the other things you have seen before, to the part, to install it, to remove it, to diagnose it, etc. It's not just this single part, it's all the rest which we already did before. And then we link to relevant parts and ordering information. I make it so simple to order the correct part right at the moment when you identify. In most dealers, this parts ordering process is pretty long, somebody else has to do it. So we really make it more concrete that you identify the, the right part and focus on that information to install it and order it fast. So, summary uh, to it, it's the dealer, it's the main stakeholder in this um, after sales process. Benefits significant from AR. And I have not used very often the term augment uh, inside. I only told what he will get from it, where he will become faster, where it's easier for him, where will he will increase customer retention, etc. But he can benefit across his whole ecosystem significantly and has a complete after-sales system built with augmented reality. If you want to see how this works, I just invite you to watch this YouTube video. This is um, a little um, screenshot on top of it. You see how this works inside of a workshop. And I would say we show 80% of what I just described here in the video and have extremely positive feedback from our own workshops when they apply stuff like this, how more efficient they got, how better they communicate, and how more important or more um, efficient is the training. So this brings me pretty much to the point where I would like to ask you questions, or you ask me questions, sorry, this is the other way around, <laughs> uh, to it, and, yeah. So, this, this product, uh, is this something that if, that's currently in the market, if so, what are you getting the best response, you know, what are you, what are you getting the most enthusiastic? Training. Training, without any question, because training is the easiest to roll out, you don't have to set up a new infrastructure in the workshops. Um, they can do this with glasses, with tablets, with everything, and you slowly roll out a new technology. And it's inside of Bosch or with our customers, training is the biggest thing. Good. Any other questions? It meant somebody needs to provide the data. So as long as CAD data is provided by the OEMs, you would be able to do it. But 
cat data is OEM specific, and an OEM workshop can do it. Um, in that video, you see alternatives, what we do for independent aftermarket when you don't have CAD data, but of course an OEM has all the information you need to make efficient uh, documentation. Um, what AR, VR apps have you seen in automotive that you find effective? The ones we built, <laughs> of course. Um, and I think it's really effective is training and effective is component location. We combine this with the diagnostic. So when you do a diagnostic, we superimpose where the component location is. And this is a huge benefit. This is in automotive the best case. And, and we believe in AR. We don't use VR inside of the workshop because I don't want to isolate the service technician from his environment, which I would do with VR. With AR, transparent, um, uh, glasses or tablets would not isolate it. Uh, how do you see how to ensure the data integration with an ODM cut data parts computer? When we, we work with a lot of OEMs, we do we deliver the software and the content. We have 800 technical authors. This is a lot of, of things most people don't know about Bosch that they have a huge after sales department who's doing nothing else as creating content for OEMs. And of course, data integrity is with the OEM. I do this for them, I'm inside of their systems, and, and the data we deliver on our client side is so low volume, or so low polygon, you cannot do anything with it. It's encrypted, etc. but it's important you are part of the OEM's um, PLM system. But we sell mainly Okay, now he's coming here. We sell mainly to OEMs, to our own workshops, of course. We have our own workshops, but our major customer are OEMs. And Bosch internally, because I'm, I'm presenting you today about automotive, but we're doing not just automotive. Bosch is huge. We have white goods, we have power tools, uh, we have uh, Rex Road hydraulic. When you go to our booth, you see a huge valve for oil drilling. Uh, there's, there's no limitation. And everything what I said about a dealer, an automotive dealer, is also true for any other product a dealer sells. Maybe not so complex as a vehicle, but in general it's the same. <laughs> Does Reflect do all your AR, VR software? Um, but you need to come to us. Uh, we are a partner, and Bosch partly owns Reflect. Also this, you, you go on the website. But we are a partner. We co-developed that software together. We brought two, two knowledge things together. Bosch has the technical documentation, automotive. Reflect has the experience with AR, and this together brought up a very good product. What challenges are unique to automotive sector that inhibit at scale are limitation? I don't think the challenges are unique to automotive. Um, I think these challenges are all over the place. One is the hardware is not in the field. A lot of, of service technicians don't have hardware with a camera on it. And this is an automotive, but this is all over the place. Inside of Bosch, somewhere else, you need to have also the infrastructure. If you want to scale large, you need to have the infrastructure, and the infrastructure is not in large scale there, and then training center much easier to deploy because there are much less um, people. Is the solution designed to work offline as well? Other bandwidth, con of course it works offline. And it's designed to stream um, live data, uh, to really... <laughs> are you going to the pool party? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. Not as long as you ask me questions. Okay, we are done now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.